Oh. SRP. Hello, and welcome to One Cool Thing, where I'm about to sneeze. Oh, my oh goodness. Oh, my goodness. Fun Give Fridays me a second. Again. I just realized it's Fun Friday here at PC Mag. Uh, this is One Cool Thing, our daily show about technology, where we show you one cool thing, which we are testing out in the PC Mag Labs. And just as our cameraman started the stream, I had an intense urge to sneeze, which I am fending off right now by not looking at the studio lights. Okay? Sure. Because that's uncouth, right? You're not supposed to do that on a stream. Uh, right? I, I guess. So okay. Maybe it just means someone's talking about you. I'm, I'm Sasha Segan. This is Victoria's Song. We are happy to be here today on Friday. It is fun Friday. It is 420. Blaze it! Yeah, we are chilling. We are chilling. Um, although we are not, uh, we, we, we are not at this point using any, uh, any substances which would be illegal to use in the workplace in the state of New York. We would just like everyone to know that. Um, but, uh, Social Pete is here to take your comments and questions, uh, if you are watching us live. If you are watching us later on YouTube, please like and subscribe. Um, and we will get to the product Today, which is a good product, is an editor's choice product. It is the Ecovacs DBot N79S. The Yay. S stands for savings. And super, super, and super I, savings. But, but, but wait, I thought the S stood for hope. Oh God, no, <laughs> Clark Kent, you basic superhero. Anyway, not that I have anything against Superman. But Talk yeah. to me about your RoboVac. So this is the Echovax DBot N79S, and as far as budget robo vacuums go, it's a pretty great, it's a pretty great buddy here. Like, um, it costs 229 MSRP uh, right now. You can find it online for around 250. But what you get is you actually get Wi-Fi connectivity and app control with that, which is really rare to find in RoboVacs under $300. Okay. Yeah. And now it's not only app connectivity, but uh, you say in the review it also has Alexa connectivity, right? Yes. So it, it also has um, Alexa connectivity, so you can just um, download the Echovax skill in the app, enable it, and then you'll be able to control it with Alexa. So you can say things like, Alexa, start my D-Bot, whatever, and then it'll start, it'll stop. You can, uh, I think you can also get it to return back to the dock. So, you know, you don't actually have to do anything except tell your Alexa to tell the thing to move and it will move, So, which is pretty convenient. So now it's a very smart RoboVac, RoboVac for the price, but... For the price, yes. But, but, is it able to clean well? Yes, so this little girl, I, I named this one Monona, so it's a girl, she can suck up a lot of dirt. Like, in testing, she actually sucked up a uh, entire USB stick. Yep, yep. And, and where's that metal thing? Yeah, and she it's also like sucked up that metal thing. thing. So one of the things about RoboVax is that you want, in general, like a lot of people ask if they can just replace their regular vacuums and automate everything. And yes and no. Generally, you do have to clear your space of cords, of debris, of, of like really large debris, because generally, you know, a RoboVac will come across it, it'll eat it, it'll get sick, and you have to help out its little tummy and, and empty it out. This, this baby ate an entire USB stick and this thing without breaking down, which so, is insane. So like, that's generally insane. You say that, I hear Lego. I don't know, because I don't have Legos. I didn't test on uh, Legos. But, you know, if a little Lego dude's head is about the same so. size as this, so I think possibly it could pick up little Lego people without dying. And the USB stick that it picked up was about this big. So now how big how big is the receptacle here? So her, her bootay is, it's not the largest that I've seen, but it is fairly, it's, it's a good size. So mm -hmm. you should be able to get, I think about, an hour and a half of cleaning, mm -hmm. but without having to actually empty this out. And now, does she have an hour and a half of battery life too? I believe she does. She has pretty good battery life. Um, generally, the simpler the robot, the longer the battery life, mm -hmm. because it's, they don't have to suck up as much uh, energy intensive power as using like laser navigation mm -hmm. or a camera, like some of the more advanced uh, RoboVacs do. Let's take a question. So with the really powerful suction, are you concerned about like having it around your pet or anything like that? No. Um, so I have a pet at home. She hates RoboVacs. Um, generally, pets will see the RoboVac and just not engage with it. At least that's been my experience. Yeah. Or they'll ride it. 
Yeah, in, 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 my experience, uh, in my experience in homes with Robovax and pets, pets are not that dumb. They are not, they, they're just generally not that dumb. I mean, my dog is dumb. Uh -huh. She is very <laughs> dumb. But she's also smart enough to know that this is, a, this is not a thing that she wants to be near, and so she generally keeps away from the Robovac. Unless you have a particularly, like, aggressive, like, this is a intruder type pet, mm. it should be, you should, it should be fine. Like, okay. I've never had an issue. Now, uh, dry stuff only, or does she handle uh, wet stuff too? Now, this is a dry stuff only uh, uh, robot. We do have some uh, Robovax online uh, at our website that you can check out, which have like a hybrid mop capability. And there are other ones like the iRobot Brava Jet 240, which are actually solely mopping vax, mm -hmm. which, you know, they just squirt water and then they clean stuff. Now, how does she handle uh, how does she handle floors with obstacles on them? That's one area right. where higher end Robovacs are much better, right? Right. So she is um, like, as you can see from the bumper here, it's she's an infrared sensor. So mm -hmm. she's basically going to be a random cleaner where they go and then they bump into a thing and then they turn that way. That's basically how she navigates. Uh, that being said, she's pretty good at that, though she does get stuck in crowded areas. Mm -hmm. So if it's like super crowded, if you have a cramped apartment and there's a dining room table uh, with a lot of chairs in it, she might get stuck, but she's not gonna scuff up your furniture. Like mm -hmm. I was testing the R Roomba 690, I believe, and it knocked over my dining room chair. It was oh my goodness. super aggressive and it like found a shopping bag and was like and ended up in the kitchen. So. <laughs> She's not an aggressive, like, pusher, but she does okay. suck up dirt aggressively. Okay, for the folks who just came in, this is the Ecovacs D-Bot N79S, a 250, but you can get it for 230 Robovac with excellent suction and uh, relatively good intelligence for this price point. Let's take another question. Someone asks if it detects poop. Does it actually detect no anything? No Robovac okay. handles poop. We've, we've answered this question multiple times. No Robovac detects poop. No Robovac actually detects mess. They, what the navigation is for is to help them maneuver. They don't detect mess so much. Mm -hmm. Some of them will claim that they have vibrations coming out of them so that they can detect dirt. Don't believe it. It's, their navigation is so that they can see obstacles and maneuver around them. Mm -hmm. um, they're not gonna detect poop. They may pick up poop, but then guess what? They'll spread it. They'll spread it and you have to clean it. So nothing, you have to pick up the poop. Yeah, yeah. I mean, as as someone, like I, I had cats for 15 years mm -hmm. and I mean, I can count on two hands over 15 years, the number of times I had to deal with actual poop in the middle of the floor. Well, one oh, right, you have get, an idiot dog. One reason to get cats over idiot dogs. <laughs> my okay. idiot dog. My idiot dog. She's 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 dumb, but she's emotionally manipulative and smart in that way. So uh -huh. if I'm gone for too long, she will revenge. Oh uh, yeah, the cats would pee on the couch. Oh okay. Yeah yeah. 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 No, she doesn't. She doesn't pee where she's not supposed to. She just oh, poops when she's been wronged. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. If if you if you folks want to talk about how your uh, animals void their bowels, please uh, put that in the comment section and uh, social poop. I mean social pee <laughs> will uh, read that out to us. Uh, let's do actually before we do a demo, uh, let's talk about this. Yeah. So not every Robovac will come with a manual remote. It. If you get a budget Robovac or one that's under 300, the 300, 400 dollar range, that's, they're a lot more common to see. Uh, so in this one, you see that in addition to app control, you have a manual remote, and you know you can do all the things like have it return to dock, have it do auto clean, steer the the bot so we can control it on a demo, which you know I appreciate when we have to do these sorts of things. Uh, you can set the date and time, schedule, uh, spot clean. Like spot cleaning is when you see a mess and you're like, okay, there's a mess here, and you tell the Robovac. Uh, That's Robovoc, about to happen. Spot clean, and it'll go around in circles around uh, uh, a particular mm -hmm. mess. Uh, this is a single room type clean. You just lock it in a room and let it go for mm -hmm. a single thing. This is so that you can connect it to mm -hmm. the Wi-Fi. And this is uh, what we call edge cleaning, which it'll go around the perimeter of mm -hmm. the room and, and follow a border. 
Okay, so uh, the most fun part of any RoboVac one cool thing in my mind is the part where it actually cleans things up. Uh, do you want a Cheeto? I do not want a Cheeto. I'm gonna have a Cheeto. I'm gonna have a Cheeto right now. But uh, the rest Winona's of the Cheetos hungry. will be sacrificed to Winona. Now we got some Cheeto dust. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's, let's get your foot away from there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> let's spread that. Okay. Oh, dear. We got one bigger piece. Do I need to cut that up? Oh, uh, well, let's see how she handles okay, it. Okay, it's about the size of a USB drive, actually. Yeah, well, I was, I was, I was honestly shocked that uh, Winona was able to pick up a USB drive. Here she goes. That's Doing not okay. Bad. Turn her around, pass her over again. It's not bad for a first pass. Yeah. That's another thing that um, some people are, you know, they, they're just like, well, it didn't get everything on a, on a first go. Well, that's kind of the whole point. She got the big one. Yeah. See what I mean? She picks up big things. Usually, mm -hmm. usually the big things they do not get uh, picked mm -hmm. up by a RoboVac. So. Now, she is kind of, I noticed the brushes do tend to spread things sometimes. They do, but... Ideally, you're not gonna just do it for like a minute or two, mm -hmm. like we're doing here. You're gonna let it go for a bit, and mm -hmm. when you let it go for a bit, she'll eventually get everything. Yeah, we've got a little bit of Cheeto stain st still there, but that's just the the life of carpet. That is the life yeah. of carpet, and like I said, if you let it go over the same area yeah. over and over again, you'll eventually get everything. And I gotta say, the job she's done with the particles is just terrific. Like, look at this. Yeah. I mean, we're cheating a little bit because I'm directing it, but actually we're not cheating because you could do that yourself. Right, with right. With the remote. Like, after you had a party, when some kids just dumped a package full of crackers on the floor, this is how you would do it. Yeah. Yeah. Any so, more questions out there? It's a really good clean. Mm-hmm. You're doing a great job. You're doing great, honey. <laughs> Do you feel like you have to use the manual steering often? No, I don't. So I like to use the manual steering when I have an instance like this and I really don't feel like bring, breaking out my actual stick back to do stuff, but you actually don't have to do it um, for most cases. They'll just go on their own and when she does get stuck, you'll hear a large beep and then you know, you'll know that she's in need of help. I found that I didn't need to do it that much, except in crowded areas when, you know, navigation mm -hmm. wasn't great. And look, most of the Cheeto dust is gone. That looks terrific. Absolutely. That's why she gets the editor's choice. Well done. Very, uh, let's let's strong. let's turn her off and bring her back up. Okay. And uh, you see, oh yeah, let's let's take a look at let's take a look at what we've collected here. Basically, an entire bag of Cheetos. We have a bag of Cheetos. And a lot of carpet hair. Yeah, well, it's... This is a very shaggy carpet. It's good to clean this carpet periodically. Yeah, that's why we have these RoboVac. Really. Okay, so so let's talk let's talk about this RoboVac in the context of other RoboVacs mm -hmm. in roughly the same price range. So um, it replaced our uh, previous editor's choice, which is the Eufy RoboVac 11. So the Eufy RoboVac 11 is $10 cheaper in terms of MSRP. This is $230, that's $220. But for just $10 more, you are getting app connectivity, which means you can schedule it in the app, um, you can view your battery life status in the app. It's a simple app for this particular RoboVac. You're not gonna get mapping features, you're not gonna get um, like virtual boundaries within mm -hmm. those mapping features, but the fact that you're getting Wi-Fi connectivity with this robot for just ten dollars more, mm -hmm. that's pretty great. Um, it wasn't particularly super loud, as you could hear, but it was the suction was really great. Um, the Roomba 690 is 375. It also comes with um, if compatibility, you can have uh, which I'm gonna call it virtual boundaries. Virtual boundaries are like these little beacons that put out a signal so that it won't enter a certain room, and that also comes with Alexa connectivity. However, uh, you're not, like I said before, that knocked over my chair. Mm -hmm. So you're not going to have that issue. Your furniture is going to be safe with this, and the suction power is really great. So all around, it's a pretty good deal. Great. Any more questions out there? Okay, terrific. So the Ecovacs D-Bot N79S, a.k.a. Winona, uh, is about $230. It is four stars. It is our editor's choice for Robovacs in this price range. It is very good at cleaning up Cheetos. 
Uh, thank you USB all for... Drives. What? And USB drives. And USB drives, in case you scatter a lot of USB drives on your floor habitually. And we think small Legos. I would, I would put down five bucks and say it could pick up small Legos. I mean, we can test that. Yeah, yeah. But, um, but good RoboVac. Thank you all for watching. Uh, this has been one cool thing. If you're watching us on Facebook, it's Friday. We'll see you on Monday, 10 a.m. Eastern. If you're watching us on YouTube, please like and subscribe. We have a new one cool thing on our YouTube channel every weekday. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you again soon.